And joining us now to talk about the issue is lobbyist Nick Iorossi for the Sands uh, Hotel, and he is in Tallahassee. He joins us now uh, by satellite. Nick, thank you so much for talking to us today. Sure, great to be with you. All right, Nick, you obviously know that allowing more casinos in Florida is a very controversial idea. Give us your best shot. Why is it a good idea? Well, first of all, this isn't just more casinos in Florida. This is a completely new product, which I think is important for everyone to realize. Destination resorts, or integrated resorts as we call them in the industry, is a completely different product in that it combines luxury hotels, large-scale trade show and convention centers, with all the amenities such as celebrity chef restaurants, yes, a casino, lots of shows. But basically, it integrates all the components that large trade shows and conventions want when they're booking uh, when they're booking their locations and determining where to go. Florida's competing with places all around the country on bringing in trade shows and conventions. And Las Vegas Sands Corporation, my client, believes that South Florida is the most underserved convention and trade show market in the country. And the only way to get those big trade shows and conventions to come here is to offer the this integrated amenities that they're seeking. So there's there's not a current uh, product in Florida like a destination resort. This is something completely new and it's designed to drive visitation. That visitation creates economic impact, it creates jobs, and it will be a real game changer for the Florida market, both from a jobs perspective and from an economic growth perspective, which is obviously sorely needed in these days. The Sands, how much money are they talking about spending in Florida to build one of these big operations? Well, the, the legislation that's been proposed by Representative Eric Fresen and Senator Bogdanoff has a minimum uh, investment of $2 billion for each, for each one of these hotels in order just to, to gain a permit. So uh, you're looking at a minimum of $2 billion, but my guess is since it'll be a competitive bid process, you'll have several bidders uh, then that will be bidding in excess of $3 billion. So this is a, such a large-scale project that it's, there's nothing in Florida that would compare to it right now. Nick, real quickly, address the concern of your opponents that if you bring in these casinos, a certain percentage of people, they're going to get overwhelmed by the experience, and they're going to ruin their finances, and it's going to destroy their lives. Well, I think, you know, the, the, um, the opponents right now are a very vocal minority. The fact of the matter is, is that people want jobs and people want economic development. Gaming is already here. We're the fourth largest gaming state in the country, and anyone can go gaming anywhere in the, around the state of Florida right now. We have 27 paramutuals. There's 1,000 Internet cafes, and there are uh, five uh, Seminole and, well, actually about seven um, Indian uh, and tribal gaming facilities where they can gamble. So gambling is not new to Florida. We're very much a gambling state, and most of the uh, social ills that keep being cited by uh, the opponents are just scare tactics to try and prevent this uh, from passing. I, I read a report yesterday that in the Coconut Creek Seminole Hard Rock, they have 800 job openings on an expansion they're doing, and 4,000 applicants sat in line overnight yesterday in order to apply for those 800 jobs. So the fact of the matter is, this proposal, the Destination Resort proposal, is jobs that people want, that people need, and I hope that the legislature will mm -hmm. see the need. Nick Iorossi in Tallahassee, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate the time. And joining us now to